All right, so some of you may have already seen that I've made a few videos about the Yi Action Cam. One thing I don't like is that the stabilization feature in the camera, although it does work, um, it doesn't work all that well and it kind of warps your picture when you use it. So I tried to figure out a solution to stabilizing the camera in a very inexpensive way. Stay right there. You're going to want to see this. Hi, I'm Mike Turner, your friendly filmmaker, and today I want to talk about the Yi Action Cam and image stabilization. So you might have seen in some past videos, I did some kind of quick tests with the image stabilization in the camera, and I kind of showed you that it does work, and it's really not that bad, but it, if you're not careful, it can kind of warp your picture a little bit, somewhat reminiscent of uh, Adobe's Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro. It works well, but if you push it too much, it makes your picture look like jello. And that's exactly what the image stabilization in the Yi Action Cam can do to you too. So now, how can you work around that? Of course, you could buy a gimbal. You know, you could buy something like the Zion Crane, which a lot of people like. Um, but those are kind of pricey. Not too pricey, but a little pricey. So if you're a cheap person like me, you might want to try a cheaper alternative. So I tried to find one. Namely this thing. This right here is the ePhoto Pro handheld stabilizer. This could be found on Amazon for about $30 approximately. Um, newer makes one that's $21.99. It's the exact same thing. And a lot of people use the Roxint Pro, which right now I think is going for $65. It's the exact same thing, exact same thing. So I wouldn't spend $65. You just look around and you'll find it much cheaper, brand new. So I want to show you some sample footage from this thing and what I was able to achieve using this. Um, so go ahead and take a look. And here he is one more time, the playground legend, my boy, the X-Man Xavier. So first take a look at the footage without using a stabilizer. And you can see that warping jello thing that I was talking about. It's not so bad if you're just panning and tilting, but it gets a little crazy when you're, when you're trying to walk with the shot. Now let's take a look at what it looks like when I add the stabilizer, but turn the image stabilization in the camera off. Now I tried using this on a variety of surfaces. In the park there's mulch, um, and that seemed to work the best actually. And then um, I tried it on some grass areas in my backyard. And because of the unevenness of those surfaces, it really caused a lot of problems with the stabilizer. You get a lot of wobble. It kind of looks like you're on a ship and it's a really run down ship at that. You get a lot of lateral movement a lot of side to side, play back and forth, up and down. It really doesn't look very good. Now part of that could be me not balancing it very well, but I mean, I, it's not like I did this for five minutes. I balanced this thing over the course of some months, actually. I, I've tried it out numerous times, used numerous types of weights, um, even used washers as weights, as a suggestion from uh, another YouTuber. I tried that and um, I just could not get this thing to balance perfectly. Now, another YouTuber said, hey, Mike, well, maybe it would be good if you put it on the stabilizer and turn on the Yi Action Cam stabilization, use the two together. And I think that was a great idea, so I, I tried that as well. And as you can see, the results are actually a little bit better when you use the two together. But in my opinion, it's still not great. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be good like a GoPro Karma or the Zion Crane it just doesn't have that level of stabilization, but of course those are a lot more money.
I also tried using this at a few weddings. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna use any of this footage in those weddings because I just don't like the way it looked. It wasn't very stable. And not only that, I just feel like the E-Action Cam, sometimes the footage looks really good and then other times it just looks real crappy and I still can't wrap my head around why it does that. I don't get it. But it just doesn't look good to me. Um, I would say six times out of 10, it just looks pretty bad. Anyway, I think it's the dynamic range. Anytime there's like really, really bright skies and then shadowy areas, the whole image just seems to crap out on you. So there you have it, there are the results. Um, you could be the judge and you can determine whether or not you think that looks good. Um, if you do, I say go ahead and buy it. I mean, it's not expensive. Uh, like I said, you could find it for $22. So it's, it's pretty cheap. It's like the cost of a, a meal at a restaurant that's not even really that expensive. So I would say try it out. Maybe you could have more success balancing it than I did. And there's a bunch of reviews on Amazon for the Roxxon Pro. I think there's over like 800 reviews and a lot of them are good. So I think a lot of people have, have had success with this thing. So it may be good enough for you and what you're doing too. Anyway, you can see the results. Uh, some of that footage that I got there doesn't look half bad. And then some of it looks terrible. So it's all about the right tool for what you're doing. Um, I was mainly getting this to get some shots at weddings where I could kind of spin around the bride and groom as they were standing still. And because I have such a hard time balancing it, I'm just not gonna do that because I don't have time to fiddle with it and get it perfect when I'm shooting a wedding because time is ticking too quickly. So I just need something that I could just whip out and boom, it works. So that's why I may get something like the Zion Crane in the future because for my purposes, I need to be quick. And that's what it is. But if, if you don't need to be quick and you have time to balance this thing, it may be just what the doctor ordered for you. Anyway, if you found that helpful, please go ahead and like the video. Please hit subscribe right now to subscribe to more videos where I'll be doing reviews on all types of equipment that I use. I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon.